Nepal's Prime Minister has made an urgent plea to world leaders to provide vaccines for his country as it undergoes a severe second wave of coronavirus. In an exclusive interview with the BBC, KP Sharma Oli said the UK had a particular responsibility to help given its close ties to Nepal. Well, let's cross live now to Kathmandu and join our South, uh, South Asia correspondent, Regini Vajanathan. Uh, Regini, over to you. Well, as you say, I'm in Kathmandu, and where I am in the Durabar Square was the scene of some devastation in 2015 when this country experienced the earthquake. And many people say it's not since then that this mountain nation has had a crisis of such magnitude. Now, just like neighboring India, there have been oxygen shortages, and it's been difficult for many people to get beds here in the capital, Kathmandu. And while pressure has now eased, uh, there is still a big problem in rural areas and the testing positivity rates in Nepal are among the highest in the world. Now, I spoke, as you say, to the country's Prime Minister, KP Sharma Oli, and in an interview, he made an appeal to world leaders, in particular the UK's Boris Johnson, and said that his nation desperately needs more doses of vaccines. I called our neighbours and other friends, uh, global international organisations, and others to support us and we got support also from different governments and organizations as well as non-residential Nepalese and others but it's not enough and we are trying to get more support and particularly we want to buy vaccination now if you don't get the vaccines you need how bad could the situation get in the months to come here in Nepal we'll get uh, the vaccine. We cannot imagine that uh, we will not get vaccine because uh, that will be devastating. You were relying on India for vaccines and obviously with the situation there, there's no exports. COVAX can't send vaccines out either. I mean, what's your general feeling about how countries like Nepal have taken the hit because of the way vaccines are in the world being distributed? This cannot be a medium of earning for any company or the government. Yes, they can earn, of course, but the distribution should be justified. That, that uh, every country, every company should realize that this is the achievement of entire humanity and uh, entire humanity keeps right to get this. This is not only the question of uh, um, uh, mercy, pity, etc. But this is the right of the people. Well, there has been some positive news coming from the United States, which has, of course, announced that it will be sending vaccines to Asia and that Nepal will receive some of those. We still don't know how many. We also know that Nepal has been talking to China to secure doses. But one of the specific problems is that more than a million elderly Nepalis were given one dose of the Oxford AstraZeneca jab. And so the reason why the Prime Minister is particularly appealing to nations like the UK is he needs to get supplies so that people can have their second dose, given that there is a supply problem with neighbouring India. Rajini in Kathmandu, thank you very much indeed for joining us.